What is up guys, this is Nick, we are back, and in today's video, we are going to be going over some general tips and tricks uh, for quality of life and things that I wish I would have known when I started up Black Desert. Uh, these tips are fairly simple, fairly easy, but we'll hop right into them. Um, I'm currently in Sousen's Garrison, and we'll go over that. Um, I don't think we need anything in the towns or anything like that. So, let's hop right into this. If you want to know why I'm next to Sousen's Garrison, check back on the channel. I have a four-hour video, or not four-hour video, but a four-hour farm coming up of what I got at Sousen's Garrison for my four-hour farm, and discussing all of that. But, let's get into this. So, first off is to turn the chat off. So... This is one of the more annoying things. My face cam does cover it up, so a little bit, um, a little bit annoying. Uh, but it's right above my face cam. You can see there's one uh, piece of text. It covers all the way from there, all the way down to the bottom of the screen. I have a video on this. I will tag it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. So you hold left trigger, hit left on the D-pad, and then swipe this, the right stick over. So on the PlayStation controller, I'm going to assume this will be considered the D-pad on Xbox, and this will be your left stick. So all you'll have to do is hold L2, hit left on their version of the D-pad, and swipe the right stick over to the right. That would be my assumption. Nice and easy. You can obviously change the layout of that in the ring menu, but it's nice and easy to flip on and off. I pretty much have it down to a science. It's real easy to flip on and off. Okay, so moving on to the next thing, which I will be making a video on for PlayStation in case people need to look this up, but I'm going to show you guys in this video. It is to turn off the server notifications and all of that different marketplace notifications. So you're going to want to go into your settings, head down to general settings, and click on alerts. In here, you'll have marketplace, enhancement success, enhancement fail, and guild quests. Guild quests you can leave on if you're in a guild. I'm, I have my own guild that's empty right now because I, ha I haven't done anything with that yet. Uh, maybe in the future I will, but for now I'm not doing anything with it. So I turn them off. Uh, enhancement fail and enhancement success. This will show you other people's successes and failures. It'll get really annoying. I suggest you turn it off. Marketplace will show you anytime anything they deem of value is posted to the auction house. I would also consider, I would also highly recommend turning it off. It gets super annoying. Uh, other things you can do is in the miscellaneous, there is other things that you can turn on and off. I'm actually going to turn that back on. Um, there's always different things that you can turn on and off and for different mem for different points um, having them on and off can can make you know make a difference if you don't want to duel obviously turn it off if you're willing to accept duels you know you can turn it on but this is another this is also in I'll mention it now is the navigation um, if you want more immersion you can see on mine um, if I turn around here, you can see these blue arrows on the ground. If you want it to be more immersive, you can go into your settings here, miscellaneous and no navigation, and it will... Okay, I didn't save the settings. I always forget to confirm. Okay, so go to here and do that, and you can see those blue lines disappeared. Uh, there's also guidelines, uh, which this is kind of cool. I do like this. It's a little more immersive than just some random arrows on the ground, but I've just always left the random arrows on the ground. It's kind of, I don't know, it gets kind of in your way of sight, but it's it's not too bad. And then you have the guided ferry, which this one is decent as well. Um, it, the, you just follow the ferry and it will take you. I'll show you a little bit better if we go out here. If you just kind of follow the ferry it will take you to where you need to go. Uh, but also, let me run outside and I'll show you. If you turn everything off, if you look up in the sky, if I can get the... You can see that beam of light right there. Every objective that you have selected or location that you've hot, um, that you've set a marker on will show up as uh, the giant beam of light. So without the... Without the uh, arrows it's pretty easy to find where you're going anyway it's a little more immersive also with the chat window if you want to turn anything on and off in here uh, i suggest you go ahead and do that i've turned off my worker ones because those were getting annoying um the marketplace some of this stuff is not terrible 
to turn on, but I just keep most of my stuff off. I like to have my screen, you know, as clean as possible. There's already a lot going on with the quests on the side and and the HUD. Uh, so I like to keep it as clean as I can, and so I have a lot of that stuff turned off. Next, we have server switching. So we're here at Thousands, and it's a very hotly contested area. There's a lot of people that farm this. There's a lot of different teams. I tend to farm this area right here. This is my area that I like to farm up against the wall. I go here, up here, and around and down. Point is, is that lots of people like to do that so i'll show up there sometimes and there'll be someone there or i'll be farming it and someone will show up to try to take it from me and as of right now it's not a too hot of time in the game so what i will do is i'll just switch servers i'll give them the farm spot um i don't really want a pvp for a farm spot because usually if you kill someone out of their farm spot and they think they're strong enough they'll just come back and kill you anyway or they'll just keep coming back and it you know it's just not conducive to trying to do your farm spot so i just switched the servers on xbox we've got 15 servers uh and so there are plenty of options to swap around and hope to find a spot where where there's no one at uh it's just the best way to kind of avoid uh people ruining your farming because i don't know if i want to pvp i want to pvp if i want to just you know farm can i not can i be left alone i guess for to be farmed but so i just switch servers i'll have a video on uh farm etiquette uh for people uh both if you show up to somewhere and someone's there or if you're there and someone shows up um just kind of different ideas for farm etiquette in the game there's not like a set etiquette i mean it, it's a it's a it's a multiplayer game. I, I don't really care if someone kills me. Yeah, it's annoying, but it's like, okay, well, I signed up to play a multiplayer game. If someone kills me, then I, I knew what I signed up for, so it's kind of one of those things. But switching servers, good idea if you want to avoid uh, PvP when you're farming. Uh, another thing is to log off. So right to the right of Siri, I think if I point over here, it'll... No, it's, it's this way. If I point over here, <laughs> next to Siri's head... Uh, you can see a EXP timer, 39 minutes. That's for my double XP that I have on because I was farming thousands uh, before I realized I needed to remake this video. Um, and so that timer will continuously tick down, obviously, as you play. But if you go and you go ahead and disconnect, close app, get out of the game, whatever, however you want to do it, um, that will allow you to save your timer. So say my doorbell rings and the mailman's there. Instead of like sitting here and letting the timer tick down, I'll go ahead and disconnect, save myself a couple of minutes of my XP timer or whatever I have equipped that's counting down, item discovery, whatever it may be, whatever it may be. So next we have uh, keeping track of your time logged in for events. So we don't have one currently going on, but from time to time they have events that are time-based. And so you'll need to be logged in for three hours, six hours, whatever the time may be. The last one we had was five minutes, one hour, two hour, and three hours. And so um, if you were logged in for the one hour, you would get like you would get certain items at each increment. And so the three hour is usually the longest time is the best one. That's the one you want to be logged in for. So I've been trying to keep track of when the items or, or how long I've been on and how close I am to the items because for some things I believe I was probably 15 minutes short of like the three hour and I just didn't know so I decided to start keeping better track um, as I go through just just not super detailed not a stopwatch or anything like that but I take a peek okay say I got on it 10 a.m. and I played for an hour and 45 minutes or I played till 11 45 so I remember I played for about an hour and 45 minutes and I get back on and I play another hour and I know I get back on at like four in the afternoon and I play for an hour and it's five I know I just got to play for a couple more minutes and I'll get that reward uh, that's just kind of what I'm saying uh, just make sure you maximize the rewards you can get for the event uh, especially if you're on time crunches if you have school or work or whatever and then finally, I suggest you guys watch the Awakening videos. I'll try to link, 
I'll link the Sorceress Awakening video since that's what I'm on. I'll put a little card up above for that, as well as I'll link the Blast Desert channel and playlist in the description and in the comments. I'll put them in both, so you'll have a chance to find it. If you watch this video immediately after it goes up, give me a half a minute because I can't post comments immediately once the video goes out. So if you watch this in the first couple minutes, just hit up the hit the hit the description should the link should be in the description if not they'll be there relatively shortly when i realize that i didn't put them there <laughs> so that's going to do it for this guy, this video guys these were just a little bit of tips of quality of life and um basic beginner tips that i wish i would have known when i started this game uh that i my chat was on forever i swear i i my chat was on there forever, and so were the notifications. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got all of that turned off. It makes this a little more, I guess, immersive. That's not, I don't know if that's really the word I want to use, but it makes it a little bit better. Uh, I like it a lot more without all those notifications. Now, if you want all those notifications, go ahead and leave them on. But most people, based on the one video I made going over the uh, turning the chat off, most people don't want that on. And so... That's going to do it, guys. Obviously, we're on Xbox. Things may be a little bit different on launch for PlayStation, but I thought I'd make this video before PlayStation comes out so you guys would know these before you hopped on the game and you were like, oh my gosh, how do I turn this off or how do I get rid of this? This is so annoying and stuff like that. Just some quality of life stuff that I thought you guys should know. Uh, drop the video a like if you did, subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you guys all later. Peace.